<laughs> I don't really want to breathe that in. What's up machine freaks and welcome to the vlog. Today I am finally going to fix my truck. As you guys know I had that accident and this wheel actually fell off. Well not this specific wheel but this wheel on the truck's location. The actual wheel that fell off is right here. You can see where the lug nuts went. They're all bored out except for this one. That's the one that the stud probably broke off. But as you guys know, I actually took off the rear caliper on that side so that I had three out of the four brakes. Now theoretically, 70% of your braking is in the front and 30% is in the back. So if I took off that rear driver's side caliper, I would still be down to 85% braking. And that's why I did it. But I would like to be back to 100% and I know I'd rather work on it down here than up in New York State. Like I told you guys, I'm in Port Charlotte. This might be my last day or like soon is gonna be my last day. Heading back up to New York and that's why I wanna fix this now. There's an issue I'm running into and that is I only have a bottle jack and I don't have jack stands or a regular floor jack. So what's happening is the base of the bottle jack is not secured. It's, it's going into the ground at an angle. My two by four is good because that allows a slip resistant place for the top to push on the truck. I went through my girlfriend's scrap wood pile. I found this, I'm gonna use this as the base. Hopefully my, hopefully the bottom of the jack doesn't break this, but if it does, hopefully it levels itself out on here, then I can jack up the truck safely. I do appreciate your guys' concern for my health and my safety. That's awesome. Once I get the truck up in the air, I will put the tire that fell off the truck under here because the rim's already shot, and if the truck falls on that rim, well, it's better that than me. See how much this wood breaks. I'm wiggling the truck and it's pretty secure. There's no way I'm gonna wiggle it that much once I'm under there. There's no place to put the wheel. I got a jack stand and it's a nice one. I bet you that's at least a four or a six ton. Better than anything I have at home. I got the jack stand the same place where I get my Wi-Fi, my girlfriend's aunt's place. I just realized this, her aunt and her uncle are like my perfect combination. He loves welding and automotive and she loves the internet and like technology. That's what I am. Those exact three, four, two things, however you wanna add that up. So now OSHA would approve of this situation. Let's get to it. I still can't wait to put that rotor on my wall. I love that thing. Safety first. that sucker on the wall too. You know, I brought all the tools that I thought I would need, you know, for anything that I would run into. I didn't think my freaking wheel would fall off. I've never taken one of these things apart before. Now I understand that I might have to go out and buy another tool to take this hub thing off. Now I have a screwdriver right here, it cost me 98 cents. If I can remove this nut with this punch, then I think for 98 cents I'll just replace this. We'll see how it goes. 
Say goodbye to this 98 cent screwdriver. Doesn't look like I have to buy the tool. I'm at one, two, three, about 12 and a half. Plans have changed and I'm sorry to say that. We're not gonna do this job the way I said I was going to do it. You guys are completely aware that I'm not a half-asser, especially when it comes to my safety and the safety of the people around me. But I don't want to install the parking brake stuff right now. I don't have all the tools that I'll need to install the parking brake stuff. And the seal's not bad. So I figure what I'll do is I'll just install this part that I bought. Keep the new seal. Don't put it on the truck. And then once I have all the parts in New York State. And it's nice out and I need a parking brake again. Then I'll go ahead and do this all over again. It's really not that time consuming. Saying that, we're not, we're not ending the video. We're just going to switch things up a little bit. And this is the chunk that I'm actually replacing right now. There's a lot of reasons why I don't want to do the whole job. I'm not making excuses, I'm just giving you guys facts. I don't like driving somebody else's vehicle, especially when it's not like my parents or my brother or sisters. You guys understand. So let's just dive into this. Hopefully I have all the tools I need to remove this. like I need to go get a wrench. So my girlfriend's uncle's name is Doug, and Doug hooked me up. He didn't hook me up with a Craftsman wrench or, you know, a Napa wrench or, he hooked me up with a Knuckle Saver Mac 15 16 wrench, and it's a nice one. I look forward to using this sucker. He also gave me a measurement device so I can take a measurement of my studs, so I can replace that while I have that hub off. Oh yeah, I love that wrench. I can't wait to have tools like this all over my shop. I managed to get the old one off. That's what that looks like. As you can see, there's a crack here, and I believe this is cast iron, so you can't really weld that, at least with the equipment I have. So we're just gonna make sure it's all gonna line up before I go ahead and install it. And so far, it looks like it's identical, so that means we're ready to go. I just went to the parts store. I got my one lug that I snapped off, and I got some black silicone. Now we're getting something to eat. Here's my new stud. Very studly, like myself. I also asked them if they had like the brake shoes and the hardware that goes with them and they didn't have anything like that. I guess even if I wanted to do it, I couldn't do it. A Western barbecue, huh? Yep. I'm gonna get the Wisconsin burger. What? What's a good milkshake? Uh, right now my favorite is the new red velvet shake. I don't know if I could go with that one. Let's you like the Oreo. I like I like the Oreo. Let's go with the Oreo. Mm -hmm. Then we gotta get gas and I wanna buy a gift card for my girlfriend's aunt and uncle because they've given us the privilege to use their Wi-Fi and their tools. So I gotta I gotta thank them for that. It's literally only taken me about seven minutes to put everything back together. That includes my new parking brake anchor. Put the hub back on here with the original seal. I clean the seal up very well. I clean up the bearing very well. Um, now I'm just cleaning this edge right here. Now I'm gonna put silicone on this. Clean that up, of course, before I put the silicone on. Put everything back together, we'll be set. So I got the axle back into the truck. Everything's dialed in right here. All I have to do now is put my caliper on, hook up the brake line to it, get rid of my makeshift fix that I have up there, put the new rotor on instead of that wall hanger, put this nice shiny one on. Everything that needed to be done is now done, but one thing, I have to bleed the brakes, but I need my girlfriend's help for that.
Okay, should be all good. Thank you. Well, I got my wheel on my truck. I'm moving, as you guys can see. I'm taking it around the block, making sure everything's gonna work right. I've done everything correct so far, other than retorquing the wheel down. But like I said, I'm not going very far. I'm just gonna do a little lap. I'm making my first stop. So far, the wheel hasn't fallen off. The pads probably got worn unevenly for a little bit since my wheel fell off. Since the caliper was like riding sideways, so it's not a surprise that it's making noises or smoking. I just gotta check the lug nuts every once in a while. Everything, everything is done correctly, just the lug nuts have to be tight. And retorqued. She's all set. Now there was one thing that I didn't show you guys that I did, and that was I retorqued the axle bolts that go under this hub. I torqued all those down before I put this hub back on. I've torqued these probably about four times. Once I go a couple more miles, I'll go ahead and torque them again. I personally don't think they're gonna move much, but we learned our lesson, we're gonna recheck them. So the Duramax is open for business. Now it's time to pick up the mess. I hate this part. This is the worst part. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. Don't forget to smash the hell out of that like button. I'm gonna clean up. You guys just relax. I look forward to what you have to say in today's vlog and tomorrow's vlog. Until tomorrow, 3D Machines out.